friends, uh, warm greetings from Bangladesh, land of uh, Shindarbans, Royal Bengal Tigers, and land of aspiration. Uh, thank you for uh, allowing me uh, to uh, present uh, a controlling cholera in Bangladesh, uh, role of uh, NCCP, OCV, and WASH. Bangladesh is a country having a, a high burden of uh, cholera with, with biannual seasonal peaks. Diarrheal disease uh, reporting system is also available in Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, unfortunately, cholera is not reported from the sub-district levels uh, due to uh, some uh, deficiency in the diagnostic facilities. Some of the diagnostic facilities they do, but uh, this is uh, not that significant. Cholera surveillance system is also uh, available in our country. We have uh, 16 uh, sentinel sites, and we are planning uh, to increase the number so that we can have a real picture uh, of the country. Bangladesh, uh, you know very well that uh, pioneered the oral rehydration salt, and after uh, scaling up with uh, ICDDRB and other uh, development partners, uh, these uh, uh, oral rehydration salt really saves millions of lives, millions of uh, uh, potential uh, cases, and uh, this is, uh, I think, uh, worldwide it is uh, popular. And uh, our awareness uh, regarding the uh, cholera or entirial diseases is enormous, and we believe uh, uh, OCV, WASH, and basic treatments like oral salines, rice salines, etc., they really help uh, to save lives. Uh, in the previous slide, uh, I, I just told you that uh, biannual uh, uh, increase in the cases. You, if you if you look into the slide, uh, in the uh, uh, April and May, and in the September, uh, there are two uh, two peaks. Usually, it starts in the uh, beginning of the monsoon, and uh, again it comes back uh, at the end of the monsoon. Uh, these are the sentinel sites, uh, and uh, number of cases. If you uh, look into the slides. Uh, basically, uh, it, it, this uh, number of uh, cases are confined in the capital city, the, uh, the port city, Chittagong. We have plan. Right now, uh, we need to address the, the cholera and diarrheal diseases with uh, the use of OCV and WASH. Co definitely, uh, cholera exists in Bangladesh and some other parts of the world. And uh, uh, patient load definitely uh, it is uh, high uh, in comparison with other non-communicable diseases. And uh, you know uh, Bangladesh uh, is a very small country with, uh, with uh, real challenges with the uh, global warming and climate changes. And uh, you know the development work is going very high uh, at a pace and therefore the rapid urbanization uh, in migration of the population, uh, etc. they are contributing and uh, contamination of drinking water sources, a sanitary system during monsoon, floods, and other natural calamities like landslides, cyclones, etc. Uh, compromise of water quality due to environmental pollution, uh, etc. they also contribute. Uh, we, we, we planned uh, as OCV and WASH all together, they can uh, mitigate the uh, effect of a cholera burden and uh, definitely uh, we should need better wash infrastructure and practice for keeping people free from all kinds of diarrheal diseases, particularly cholera. Uh, wash is uh, popular in Bangladesh, but uh, government, non-government uh, uh, linkage and collabora collaboration, it needs to be enhanced and strengthened because uh, some of the development partners, some of the NGOs, they are playing re leading role but uh, government stewardship is also very important here. Actually, uh, we started uh, thinking with uh, a National Cholera Control Plan, and we, uh, it was <coughs> approved by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare in 2019. Unfortunately, due to the uh, COVID-19, uh, uh, it came to some sort of halt because we had to uh, mobilize our human resources and other resources to combat the COVID situation, and fortunately, uh, uh, now uh, it is uh, we are we are doing uh, well. Uh, uh, more than 125 million of uh, people already received first dose of vaccination. Uh, more than 85 million people received a second dose of vaccination, and uh, the uh, the percentage of uh, COVID cases detected every day it is less than two percent. 
so we can now uh, focus on our other activities like uh, a national cholera control plan and definitely as it is a, a three years old uh, document we we, we are uh, planning to revise the document and for sure uh, this year we will come up with some uh, new inclusions and some some exclusions from the uh, uh, national control plan we had uh, we had short term uh, target of reducing 25% of the disease burden by 2021 unfortunately it was not achieved due to this covid situation and uh, mid term target was 50% reduction by 2025 we believe we can achieve it all together by sharing expertise experiences from other countries those who are suffering like bangladesh and long term definitely by 2030 we will reduce it by 90 percent or more and uh, key intervention uh, as you know that uh, we want to strengthen our surveillance system reporting system and definitely treatment of cholera cases uh, bangladesh has has its own strategy own management protocol and definitely uh, it's a living document we can change it whenever it is required and ocv campaign already we have uh, started a wash promotion it is done by uh, different NGOs and development partners. Some, uh, some areas, uh, government is contributing, but government's participation uh, needs much more. And uh, leadership, coordination, social mobilization, political commitment, these are all very important uh, part uh, in uh, combating the cholera and diarrheal diseases. And uh, this is the, uh, this is the uh, demo plan. Uh, in 2019, uh, some part of the Dhaka uh, City Corporation, uh, we conducted OCV uh, campaign, but unfortunately in 2020-2021 we couldn't do because of this uh, COVID situation. And at this point, I think I should uh, stop talking. Uh, I, I would like to request Dr. Anindo Rahman, who is basically in charge of this uh, component. Uh, he will, uh, I think, uh, he will better contribute in this uh, 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 in this uh, uh, conference and Dr. Anindo, would you mind coming over here? Please, you proceed and you just uh, wrap up the uh, presentation. Thank you very much for your patient hearing. Thank you, thank you very much. Have a great day. Okay. Thank you very much, Professor Nazbun Islam. Uh, uh, my name is Dr. Anindo Rahman. I'm the program manager for Diarrhea Control Program in uh, Bangladesh under the Ministry of Health. So, uh, uh, this presentation was about WASH, so let's talk about the WASH situation in Bangladesh. Uh, I'll be, uh, I, I do not know, like if you have uh, worked with Bangladesh, you will be, uh, you will know that in WASH situation, Bangladesh has done tremendously in last uh, few decades. Uh, actually, we have gone to, I think, like from zero to 16 in a very quick period. Like you can see, it's uh, data from 2019 MICS survey. And uh, you can see that basic water facilities at the household level uh, was 99.5%, uh, sanitation 60.7%, and hygiene 56.3%. So, but like when we are combining all three components, it's not that high, it's 40.2%. So if we, we are thinking about SDG, the target of achieving 100% by 2030, we still have a long, long way to go. So that's one thing. However, uh, because uh, we, uh, it's a, it's opportunity to talk about our uh, cholera control program. So I want to talk about more than wash. So I want to talk about the, our recent progress in cholera control. Uh, so uh, you know this uh, cholera control plan was only uh, approved in 2019, and this diarrhea control program that I'm the program manager of only started in 2017. So it's a very relatively in infancy, in infancy situation. But we still did some work. Uh, let me uh, give you some example. Like we did uh, OCV vaccination in selected areas of Dhaka. So Dhaka is the capital of uh, Bangladesh and it's a very highly densely populated uh, city. And uh, also we have lots of cholera cases there. So we, uh, we gave uh, first dose of OCV to 1.2 million people in some selected areas of Dhaka. Unfortunately, due to COVID, we could not uh, finish the a vaccination. I mean, we could not do the second dose. But uh, among the Rohingya refugees, I I think you have heard about it. So among the Rohingya refugees, we have done four rounds of OCV vaccination already. The last round was done only like five months ago. So uh, we have some quite success in there. And uh, we are regularly uh, distributing water purifying tablets, even uh, salines uh, uh, to the affected areas. Because as, he, as Professor Nazmul said, 
that uh, we have bi uh, seasonal peak biannual peak in our country and especially the climate change or the disasters like flood uh, increasing salinity in the coastal areas these are like uh, affecting our areas a lot and uh, public awareness during outbreaks and high risk seasons we do uh, different kind of activities like uh, miking uh, doing advocacy workshops uh, postering even uh, doing tv uh, tv shows etc uh, we did some collaborative meetings with local administration because uh, uh, the thing is WASH is not directly under a Ministry of Health as you can understand this is under the local administration uh, local uh, government and uh, there's separate authority in uh, cities like water sanitation authority city corporation so we did lots of collaborative meetings with them to uh, align our objectives our plan to with their plan and uh, the local government they already have their wash strategy and this was updated in 2021 so this updated national strategy for wash is available and we developed a wash strategy for healthcare facilities uh, in uh, 2019 i think yes so we also have uh, wash strategy for healthcare facilities and we uh, formulated a wash cell i mean it's a, it's a uh, a wash cell for healthcare facilities which is formed in DGHS so this is uh, another positive move and lastly I want to talk about IPC uh, last two years we have done a lot in infection uh, prevention control especially in healthcare facilities uh, uh, thanks to <laughs> COVID I guess and uh, uh, we trained a lot of people we actively implemented the program in some facilities so I would say uh, IPC in IPC in terms of IPC we have done a lot and uh, we have done some uh, some work recently i mean uh, very recently uh, we have uh, started training uh, healthcare staffs for the uh, case management of cholera i know you might say that uh, cholera is very old in our country and we should know the case management but obviously this is not the case for everyone ne young doctors are coming every day and they do not have that much exposure with diarrhea management so we had to start training them Last year we had some uh, bad uh, diarrhea outbreaks in Bangladesh, uh, even some people died. So we had to uh, come up with this uh, training uh, very soon and we developed a training module, national training module of the cl uh, clinical management of diarrhea with the, all the experts we have so that uh, the treatment is also harmonized everywhere in the country. So emergency support is uh, being provided from our program and uh, this year we have, uh, we, we are, we advertised for some research grant on uh, diarrheal diseases uh, uh, that means cholera i think this is uh, the first time we are doing uh, this kind of activity from government own fund uh, this kind of research fund was actually given by donors before but this year we have uh, tried to do something from our government fund and uh, our higher authority is now more uh, aware of the cholera situation because uh, because of the outbreak last year even our health minister and even above him uh, all of those are aware of cholera and they want to do something about cholera that's a good thing so what are the challenges uh, we have lots of challenges actually because uh, uh, I, I I was talking with some of you yesterday this program is very new this idea control program of Bangladesh is very new and it's a very small program we are only about four people working in this program and we are not only seeing idea we are also looking for AMR and hepatitis and uh, COVID is like the cherry on top. So we are all are working for COVID. So we, we have uh, the manpower shortage. Uh, it's uh, acute in our national program. This is a very uh, bad situation. So we really need help from all of you. And uh, loss of focus due to COVID-19. Uh, uh, as I already mentioned, we uh, did our uh, cholera control plan in 2019, but then 2020 came and everything got changed. We got derailed. We were working for COVID 24-7, uh, so I could not focus on cholera. And sustainable financing is not available yet uh, because uh, it's a very small program. Our budget is very limited and uh, if, uh, the donors money is not also available in our country that much. So sustainable financing is not available. But the uh, one of the key challenges that I want to highlight is the multi-sector involvement. As I already mentioned that WASH is very much multi-sectorial. It's not part of Ministry of Health only. So to, to uh, coordinate with everyone and to uh, move in a aligned way is very difficult. 
uh, because they are totally different ministries, totally different expertise. They are like engineers, we are doctors. So it, this uh, coordination is difficult. And when we are burdened with so many things other than cholera, it's even more difficult. Uh, again, uh, climate change and natural disasters, that's another big issue because even if we ensure uh, uh, clean water, safe water for everyone, when the flood comes, when the cyclone comes, everything got disrupted, right? So uh, you can, uh, those kind of uh, disasters hampers our wash. And uh, th that is the time when outbreak occurs. Uh, lastly, our case reporting and surveillance system need to be strengthened. We, uh, we have surveillance system. It was 22 sentinel sites before. Now it is only 16 sentinel sites. And case reporting from our uh, hospitals are not actually available. The system is not available. Also, the diagnostic facility is not available. So th that, uh, that is a big issue for us. And uh, lastly, uh, that uh, we all talked about in uh, these two days that the the data to data of the impact of intervention is not available, right? Like when we are going to uh, seek for fund from the government, actually funding from government is not uh, impossible, but we have to uh, have the right uh, data, right? Right uh, case studies that, yeah, this kind of thing works and this is the burden of uh, disease and this is why we need this budget. This kind of uh, a comprehensive uh, data we do not have. So that's another challenge. So what, what are our expectations from GTFCC? I know we all are talking about WASH, but uh, because we uh, came with the invitation from GTFCC, uh, we have some expectation from GTFCC as well. Uh, GTFCC already uh, uh, ensured that we are getting support from through country support platform uh, through IFRC, and we want this technical support to continue. So we want long-term technical support from CSP. Uh, we need to strengthen our surveillance system and uh, this is where we will need your expertise because we are not the expert. We have uh, some expert people in our country but your expertise, uh, your suggestions, even some funding will be helpful if we want to strengthen our surveillance system. But again, uh, do not focus on the funding part because government have funding if we can proceed in the right way. So we need uh, that help as well. Uh, uh, like we, we need help to establish central cholera reference lab, establishment of RDT-based diagnostics, uh, even PCR-based diagnostic facility in uh, medical college hospital. This kind of support we'll need from you. Uh, and lastly, uh, what we need, uh, as I mentioned that this program is very new in Bangladesh, we'll need some capacity development support from you. We need to, we need to improve ourselves before we can improve the uh, country's cholera system. So we need uh, capacity development activities. Maybe we, you can uh, help us uh, developing some trainers, this kind of thing. And uh, we already ha had like lots of uh, support from GTFCC in getting OCB, and probably we'll need uh, this kind of support in the future as well, because not much OCB is being produced in our country. I mean, uh, in SEPTA, one pharmaceutical, they can produce, but it's not enough. So this support will be needed in the future as well. Support from WASH, I know it's a vague term, but like uh, what I meant, I meant is like uh, to give us more technical support in uh, uh, planning for the WASH development, this will be needed. And lastly, support for implementation research. This is really lacking. We do not have that much data on the implementation research. Uh, we are trying to do, as I already mentioned, we are, uh, this year we are trying to give some grant, but uh, we do not know uh, if we will get the right proposal. So in this area, uh, all of you I know are very good researcher as well. So in this area, you can help us as well. And uh, just last few thoughts. Uh, this is kind of very good timing for us uh, in terms of uh, doing something for cholera in Bangladesh. Uh, because uh, you know in Bangladesh, our whole development program uh, in health is uh, financed by health sector program, if you know. So uh, this year uh, is like the last year of uh, our current health sector program. So the, from the next year, we are going to have a new sector program, which is called Fifth National Health Sector Program. Pardon my, for my uh, mistake. It's supposed to be 2023 July, not 24. Anyway, so the fifth sector program is uh, at knocking at the door. And if we can provide with the right evidences and right plan, we can actually have some good budget for cholera and wash. It is possible. 
and uh, this uh, plan will go on for next five six years so this is very high time to do something about cholera and wash and the consensus on importance of wash and diarrheal diseases are very high in the right now in policymakers as I already mentioned the the health minister himself is very much interested in doing something about cholera and diarrhea and also because of covid this uh, ipc situation everything is uh, like they they are the policymakers they now know this kind of things so it's a very high time that we approach them and uh, do something about it and as i uh, i want to prioritize wash like i want to say that we want to prioritize wash not only for cholera but also for other food and waterborne diseases so and uh, w by we we means like bangladesh as a whole so this is a very perfect time to do something about it and uh, thank you very much for inviting us in this program we learned a lot we learned a lot about uh, what you're going to do in next few years and uh, we agree with totally with all of you because this kind of thing will be needed we will need some budget estimation and some tools to monitor our activities and obviously some implementation research all these things will be necessary so best of luck to all the working group that are working and uh, we are also very happy if we want to like if you want me to want us to participate in the working group that is also uh, we are, will be very lucky to do that so yeah this is by i'm, I'm finishing our presentation uh, last uh, lastly we have done a lot in wash but it's not enough we have to do go a long way so with all of you together, we, we, we shall overcome. Thank you.